Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to know about how to access the structure members. Okay. So array elements are accessed using the subscript variable, right? That is the E of i, E of j, like that. If you want to access your array, then you will uh, mention that subscript variable. Suppose I want to access the first location in the array, then I will use the subscript variable E of 0. Right. So like this, similarly, if you want to access the structure members, then we have to use the dot operator here. Okay. So for accessing the structure members, we have to use dot operator. So dot is also called as the structure member operator. Okay. So why? Because using this operator only, so we are accessing the structure members and using this operator in between structure name and member name. So how to use this operator that is dot operator means so you have to use the structure name and the member name. So this is structure variable name and member name. Okay. So now let us see the syntax of accessing the structure members. So syntax is structure variable name dot member name. So here the members, the structure members individually has no meaning, right? Suppose you are taking the ID, then employee ID. So which employee ID? So which person's employee ID? Okay, so that is not meaningful if you are going to the individual data member. But if you are going to link the variable name and the member name, then it will be meaningful. Suppose I'm taking even dot name. So even dot name means the first employee name, right? And I'm taking a2 dot id. That means second employee's id. So here it is very meaningful compared to only data members. So here individual data members are not having any meaning. But if you are linking the structure variable name and the member name, then it will be meaningful. So the link between the member and the variable is done using the structure member operator that is a dot so it is also known as a dot operator or period operator so here we can see the how the link is established between the structure variable name and its members name okay so here the structure variable name and its members name so the link is established here between the structure variable name followed by dot operator and its member name that is id so even dot id, even dot name, and even dot salary. Okay. Similarly, here for the second employee, so we are going to link the structure variable name and its data members name. That is e2 dot id, e2 dot name, and e2 dot salary. Okay. So this is about how to access the structure members. So now let us see a small example regarding the accessing of structure members here. So here in this example, I am considering the structure vehicle. Okay, so vehicle with data members, wheels, vehicle name and color. Okay, so here I am going to uh, auto, I mean, manually give the input here in the program. So V1 equals to 4, Marathi 800 and white. That means, so we are assigning the values directly in the program itself. So wheels equals to 4, vehicle name is Marathi 800 and color is white. Okay, so here we are considering the only one variable that is V1. Okay, so we are storing the details of a only one vehicle. So in the main function we are writing the so print of vehicle number of wheels. So number of wheels of the vehicles V1, right? V1 dot wheels. So it will access the data here. So using the V1 dot wheels, right? That is four. It will be printed on the screen. And similarly, vehicle name percent s comma V1 dot V name. That is v1 dot v name. What is the value here? Marathi 800. So this data will be displayed on the screen. Similarly, vehicle color. So v1 dot color is white. Okay. So it will be the color is white will be printed on the screen. So here I have directly given the input. If you want to um, enter the input on the output screen means 
then we can use this kind of function here okay and then there is no need of writing these attributes directly you can enter the details on the output screen so this is about the accessing of structure members in the C language so thanks for watching my video please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you Thank you.